in this video i am going to discuss some basics about differential calculus we know calculus are of two kinds differential calculus and integral calculus differential calculus calculates dy dx differential calculus calculates dy dx and integral calculus calculates area of an irregular region or area between two curves and integral notation of integration is this integration of y with respect to x that we will discuss later but in this class we want to know what is dy dx so you see differential calculus is the mathematical tool that used to measure changes in physical quantities changes in physical quantities for example if there are two physical quantities here y and x then dy dx indicates change in y with respect to the change in x so you see in this point dy dx is the change of dependent variable y since y is a function of x then y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable so dy dx is the change of y with respect to the change of x for example if h indicates your height and a indicates your age then dh da indicates change of your height with respect to your age mathematically dy dx in means derivative of y with respect to x mathematically dy dx means derivative of y or differentiation of y or differentiation of y of y with respect to x derivative or differentiation of y with respect to x now how can we understand dy dx more easily let us try to discuss it before that we need to understand slope because when you are thinking about dy dx you need to put in in your mind two things to understand dy dx you need two things the first one is a straight line you need a straight line and second you need slope of that straight line gradient of that straight line so to understand dy dx you need two items first a straight line and slope of that straight line we know a straight line is a linear line linear line and then a general form of the equation of a straight line is this y equal to mx plus c where m is the slope of this straight line and c is the y intercept so in this straight line slope or gradient of this straight line will be m now how can we calculate this m you see for example for this straight line if you consider two points p and q having coordinates x1 y1 and x2 y2 then the slope or gradient of this straight line will be change in y change in y and change in x change in y divided by change in x or we can say rise divided by run rise divided by run and this rise run ratio is called slope and change in y means y coordinate y2 y coordinate of the point p q minus y coordinate of the point p which is y2 minus y1 because y2 is bigger than y y y1 divided by run here x2 is bigger than x1 so x2 minus x1 this is the slope of this of this straight line 
and this change in y we sometimes denote by delta y divided by delta x. So this rise run ratio is the slope of this straight line. Now dy dx for a straight line for this straight line will nothing but the slope of this straight line dy dx of a straight line will be the slope of that straight line because at any point if you calculate slope uh, it will be same the slope is same throughout the line because this rise run ratio is always constant if you consider any two point for example p and let's say e then this rise run ratio is fixed is always constant so m is fixed throughout the line therefore dy dx for a line for a straight line is nothing but the slope of that straight line however for a non-linear line this is linear and however for a non-linear line it means for a curve non-linear line or for a curve what is dy dx this is the second question what is dy dx for a non-linear line or for a curve i said to know dy dx you need two items a straight line so for a car where you will get that straight line if you can get that straight line for a curve then the slope of that straight line will be the dy dx of that curve so for a car where you will get that straight line this is the question let me consider a graph like this or curve let me consider a curve like this okay now suppose you want to calculate dy dx at this point at this point and note that dy dx for a straight line is fixed because slope is fixed throughout the line but slope is not fixed here dy dx at different point will be different for example at this point dy dx at this point and dy dx at this point will not be same at this point or at this point will not be same so if you want to know dy dx at this point where you will get a straight line the straight line is the tangent line at this point if you sketch a tangent line at this point if you draw a tangent line at this point of this curve y equal to fx then dy dx is the slope of this tangent line let's say the slope of this tangent line is m1 at this point at let's say x equal to a and at x equal to b at x equal to b let's say the tangent line is like this and let's say the slope of this tangent line is m2 and at x equal to c that slope of this tangent line let's say m equal to m3 at x equal to c so that dy dx dy dx at x equal to a will be equal to the slope of this tangent line at x equal to a which is m1 or dy dx at let me put the axis notation x and y at x equal to b will be equal to m2 because the slope of this tangent line at x equal to b is m2 and dy dx at x equal to c will be equal to m3 since we denote the slope of this tangent line m3 so what we gain from here dy dx at different point of a curve will be different and dy dx at a point at a point on the 
कार्व ऑन द कार्व इज द स्लोप ऑफ द टेंजेंट लाइन ऑफ द टेंजेंट लाइन टेंजेंट लाइन एट दैट पॉइंट एट दैट पॉइंट एंड लेट मी समराइज द बेसिक डिस्कशन dy dx is the change of y with respect to the change of x and for a straight line for a straight line dy dx is the slope of that straight line for a straight line dy dx is the slope of that straight line and we know slope of a straight line in business is called marginal cost so in calculus dy dx represents the marginal cost of a cost function and next for a curve dy dx at a point is the slope of the tangent line at that point dy dx at a point is the slope of dy dx at a point is the slope of the tangent line at that point now let us try to understand the definition of dy dx more mathematically this is the mathematical definition so how can we understand this definition if you consider two points on this graph if you consider two points on this curve then the the change in x and change in y is this this is delta y and this is delta x and i said this second line will convert it to this tangent line because dy dx is the slope of this tangent line dy dx is the slope of this tangent line at t so this second line will be will be approximate to this tangent line when delta x approaches to zero you see when delta x uh, is here then q point will be here when delta x is here then q point will be here similarly when delta x approaches to zero then the p q point will be very near to the point p and in this in that case p q will be a straight line and this straight line is the tangent line so this is the concept delta x tends to zero will convert this second line into second line p q into this tangent line p q pq will be a tangent line when delta x tends to zero let me say it again now pq is a second line second line however pq will be a tangent line will be a tangent tangent line when delta x tends to zero so that's why the definition is like this when delta x limit delta x tends to zero the rise down ratio is the slope of this tangent line so that's why dy dx is the slope of the tangent line of a curve at a point the dy dx at at x at p dy dx at p is the slope of this tangent line at p which is this now let us try to understand some notations which we are going to use in this chapter the first one is d dx d dx means derivative with respect to x d dx means derivative with respect to x this is a differential operator this is a differential operator d dx derivative with respect to x now if you put dy dx it means derivative of y 
with respect to x this one you can also write d dx of y like this it means you are differentiating y with respect to x when y is a function of x when y is a function of x but when y is a let's say a function of t then you need to calculate dy dt since y is a function of t so dy dx is called the first derivative dy dx is called first derivative of y with respect to x and which we can also denote by f prime x if y equal to fx then first derivative is denoted by either dy dx or y1 or f prime x these are the notation of first derivative or first differential coefficient first derivative first derivative or first differential coefficient so dy dx or y1 or f prime x is the first derivative or first differential coefficient similarly if you differentiate dy dx again with respect to x derivative of dy dx with respect to x then the notation will be d square y dx square or f double prime x or y2 y2 again if you differentiate second derivative with respect to x then you will get third derivative or, or third differential coefficient which is d cube y dx cube which we can also denote by f triple prime x or we can denote by y3 this is the third derivative or third differential coefficient so this one is the first derivative dy dx is the first derivative or first differential coefficient d square y dx square second derivative or second differential coefficient d cube y dx cube is the third derivative or third differential coefficient these are the basic discussion of this chapter one first need to understand these things now you will be able to differentiate any linear or nonlinear function with respect to x it means you will be able to differentiate y with respect to x if y is a function of x that's all for this lecture in my next lecture i will discuss some formula and the process of differentiation of some algebraic function